I, I spy. spy. Guess what? I'm sneaky. Don't let me out of your sights. Wait. <laughs> that Wario. D-pad to move the light. So you move the spotlight, and you just need Wario to be in the spotlight when the game ends. Uh, on the higher levels, your spotlight gets smaller, and Wario moves a little bit more erratically. So, level three here, it's a very small spotlight. Like, you can allow Wario to, to leave the spotlight for a little bit. It's just the most important thing is he needs to be in the light at the point when it checks at the end of the, uh, the micro game. That small period of time right before yeah. the bottle explodes. Yeah. So yeah, what if... What if Wario moved to Sarasa Land? Again, this, this is pure speculation. Mm -hmm. We don't know where Diamond City is, but it very well could be Sarasa Land. It could be that Daisy's Kingdom is mostly populated by humans. Yeah. Wherever it is, it's clear that Wario's been here for a while. Indeed. He has a lot of friends, people who are willing to work for him without being paid up front. Work with him. So, like... Despite him explicitly saying things like, Newsflash, I'm greedy! <laughs> I... Yeah, I, I don't know exactly. Like, maybe his friends don't know much about his business dealings. They just know him as, like, a, a party guy or something? Maybe? I don't know. I imagine he is really good at parties. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, did you see that guy eat an entire onion? <laughs> Mugshot! Don't let my mug slide off the counter, ham hands! <laughs> Please stop insulting you. It's very abusive. Anyway, you press A at the right time to grab the mug. It's another timing one. On level one, the mug comes along. On level two, there's a chance that it will come from the right instead of the left. Oh. And on level three, uh, there's a chance that'll happen. Mm. Where it'll, like, fake you out and a different mug will come. Which slightly changes the timing. It changes the timing just enough that uh, if you try to, like, jump the gun and go a little early, then you'll, you'll, you'll miss it. So, it works the same way as the crazy cars, where... There's only a chance that it will try to fake you out on the higher levels. It might just do the normal cup go across. Give me a beer, barkeep. So, how did Wario make friends with all of these weirdos? <laughs> <sighs> like... I'm guessing he just individually met them in various places, and like... Or met them all at the ice cream parlor. <laughs> they all seem to hang out there. I think that's... they only hang out there after having kind of met and become a group, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Like, we haven't seen any connections between them outside of them being friends with Wario. So we, we don't know if they any of them were already friends beforehand. Some of them, like, definitely couldn't have been friends beforehand, I'd imagine. Like, Kat and Anna, they're my loyal ninjas. They don't go places. One of them was off at a shrine? Somewhere with a dog? Just living on her own? Nine Volt is an elementary school student? I doubt Isn't that he? he'd be friends with, like, any of these weird adults. I don't know, he might be friends with Dr. Krygor. Yeah, could be. I don't know if Dr. Krygor is friends with anyone, though. Maybe? Or Bjelan? Yeah, Wario is friends with a random alien? That makes sense for Wario. Boss stage, sparring Wario. Knock the punching bag off its chain! Come on, you wimp! Still yeah. very abusive. 
So, boss stage. You press A to punch. You punch at the right timing when it comes back towards you. The ball will flash red when it's the right timing. And then it goes around, and when it swings around, you push the button at the right time to knock it off the chain, and you win. And these boss stages also have three levels of difficulty, right? Yep. So, on level two, the ball has... It, it takes more punches, like it's a heavier ball, so it gets up more slowly, and then it, you know, comes back down more often, more times before it swings all the way around. Level 3, same thing, it's just, it's like a heavier ball, it takes longer for it to build up the the momentum, I guess. Yeah. Mario's fists are very elastic in this, I guess. Or the ball is very elastic? It's just translating all of that momentum back upwards. Uh, all of the boss stages in Grid have a um, clear requirement of 5 points. Which means you never actually need to beat any of the boss stages on level 3. <laughs> huh. Because, uh, you get a point even when you lose. So you will always get at least 3 points for free from your 3 times that you lose. And then the 4th time that you lose, you don't get the point. Because right. it ends, but... Huh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. So yeah, I, I think most of Wario's friends are connected primarily through Wario himself. Yeah, like, I don't, know. I don't know. Like, okay, maybe actually, maybe Jimmy and Nine Volt had a connection because Nine Volt is apparently a successful DJ. Yeah, that's possible. Like Jimmy's, Jimmy's got the hookup. Yeah, maybe Jimmy is the social hub that everyone connects through. It's like everyone was calling him on his cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Although, I, I, some of them, like Orbulon and Krygor, they seem like outliers. Mm. Also, Cat and Dana. Because again, they're my loyal ninja. Maybe I sent them into town at some point. I don't remember my own history, apparently. <laughs> it's hard to say given that um, they would be loyal ninjas to whoever put their name into this cartridge. Yeah. The player. Just, the player is now a, a character on my list. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, regardless of anything, they are ninja. They probably don't just, like, go into town that often? Maybe? I don't know. We I don't live know. in town. Yeah. Yeah, we just, we don't know. We just don't. Although Cat might not live in town? Or at least might have been off on some kind of pilgrimage for a while? Because she was somewhere distant in some weird shrine. Then had to be summoned to defeat the demon. Yeah. Unless that was part of some... <sighs> Like, elaborate storytelling. Yeah, maybe that that could have just been a story that they were telling around their games. Yeah. That's, like, how they presented their games was this challenge thing. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, just like Did Spitz and... Dribble. Dribble. Did Spitz and Dribble really see a mermaid? Yeah, that... that a lot of these are probably... Some of these, at least, are just, like, stories that they're telling around their games. But, like, others of them are they're just kind of... Nothing's really happening. They're just kind of going to a place and doing their thing. Jimmy just dancing. Anyway, that's it for, uh, Wario's grid. The intro grid, rather. Oof. Guess we'll talk more later.